What's going on you guys? Uh, super pumped, just got this knife in the mail earlier today. Uh, this is a knife that I've been wanting for probably, I would say the course of the past six months I've been hunting this knife, uh, especially with this finish and this condition. Uh, and as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a Tybasculus with a toxic anodization. To open this, I'm going to be using the Microtech Exocet. Um, basically the knife that I've been using every day for the past better half of a year. Uh, I'm going to do a review on this soon, um, so stay tuned for that if you guys would be interested in that. Once I review the Exocet, I'm going to review another knife. I'm not too sure on what I want to daily. Whenever I review pocket knives, um, I, I mainly EDC them. So it's hard for me to review one, kind of how you would review a ballast song, more for flipping. Yeah, so here we go. Open it up, this is what it looks like. Oh, that guy has his own stickers, that's awesome. I was actually getting ready to shout him out too. So the person I bought this off of is Grim Flips. Put that sticker over here. All right, so here we have the box. I have had a uh, Basculus carbon fiber um, before. That was an R. It wasn't like a G10 R tie of the original. Here we go. Make sure you guys can see this. You guys can pause. You guys can pause that if you want to. Uh, by the way, leave a comment down below if you like my new um, recording setup better. I got a different mount for my camera. That way, it's straight up and down rather than like kind of at an angle. Uh, also, have better lighting coming. So yeah, sorry about this little glare over here. The next time I do an unboxing, I will not have that. Yeah. Ooh. Here's the latch, and here is the actual basilisk. Ooh, I really hope this camera is picking all this up. This thing looks amazing. I'm honestly shocked at how good this looks. Let me make sure you can, you guys can see this on the camera. It's like a blue, bluish purple, toxic anno. Really strong on the blues and purples, which I really like. This is an awesome knife. Let's go and open it up. If you guys know anything about Hom, you know every knife he makes has an insane tip on it. This one is a hundred percent intact. Yeah, shout out to the seller. His IG is going to be in the um, description below. Amazing doing business with him. He wasn't lying. This thing is definitely 100% mint. Uh, he did say it was a little tight, and it, it is. He said he lubed it and everything for me, which I appreciate. Awesome guy to do business with. I don't know if you guys can hear this off of the camera. It's actually a pretty quiet flipper. Really quiet. Let me move some stuff. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear this. I'll try to get some noises of it. Oh, almost forgot. Tap and play. I can't, I, can, I just can't stop looking at it. But yeah, tap. None. I mean, it literally, it's it's not even moving. Here's the play. Let me go ahead and put that on that before I stab my desk. Trying to make sure I line this up right. I mean, that feels like no play. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
get some close-ups if it'll focus yeah, overall guys this might be my favorite knife solely off of aesthetics the anno on this thing is sick I'm honestly it, it, it shocks me how good this looks in person anyways yeah this video is just gonna be the unboxing kind of a first impression which that you guys can hear I'm a big fan it actually flips pretty good um, straight out of the box there's some noise The carbon fiber one, my main complaint with that one was that it was super thick. Uh, this one's definitely not as thick as a carbon fiber one. Uh, actually, let me get out some other bellies I can compare it to without trying to drop anything. Not the fall. Okay. There's a Alpha Beast 3.0 Alt, kind of a thick boy. There's that one. The Basilisk is actually a little thinner. Which is super surprising. I remember mine being super thick. I do have some hammer scales over here on the rep. I also have the hybrid scales I'm going to be doing a review on soon. Uh, yeah, first impressions of this knife. I love this knife. It's definitely my favorite looking knife. I'm going to flip it for a couple weeks. We'll see how it flips and then I'll get back with you guys on that. But until then, uh, you guys take it easy. If you want to see any knives of me unboxing, doing a review on, anything like that, please leave a comment down below and a like. It does help kind of bring more traffic to my videos. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. You guys take it easy.